746, October 30th. We are departing in about a half hour. It is 35 degrees. The docks have ice on them. Pretty slippery. Jasper and I are going out for our morning duty. Well, he's going out for his morning duty. It's my duty for him to duty before we get underway. Headed down to Manhattan and out to Port Washington. Pretty chilly. All right. Morning number two of our autumn trip out to Long Island, expecting another windless day, and it certainly is starting off like that. So what we're looking at is the Havistraw area towards the west, tide's a little low. We can see a lot more of the seawall right now. And you see the sunrise from the opposite direction. In other words, <laughs> you're seeing the, uh, the mountains over there picking up the sun coming up in the east. And we are ready for another great day on the water. Russ, what are you doing? Why, why are you swabbing so early? <laughs> what happened? We got the, uh, the bird deposits over here to take care oh, of. Oh, the birds of, the birds of Croton. Birds. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. And we know we can get underway soon because the Admiral and the Jasper are returning from their walk. Just shy of eight in the morning. And that is where we will head out. Generator running. We'll fire up the old Detroits as soon as the Admiral's back. Bosun. Hear that, Captain Ann? <laughs> you hear that? I got it's a, coming for you. I got a bosun on deck this morning. <laughs> it was nice to wake up and uh, have some people doing some work on us. some degrees. He's out there swabbing bird poop. All right. Uh, we figure we're going to have our little captain's briefing inside while it's still warm. It is cold, but you said the decks are not icy. They're just wet. And they're just wet. Okay. <sighs> Uh, we seem to have a fully functioning bow thruster, in fact. Wow. That is some serious action. Okay, good. Oh yeah, about that bow thruster. Well, if you caught the video released before this one, you'll remember that just as we were getting underway, no, just, uh... we discovered that our thruster was rather lackluster in its performance. By the time we arrived in Croton on Hudson, it wasn't working at all. So after going through the system and consulting with an excellent mechanic, we realized that there was an inline fuse between the thruster batteries and their charger that was likely blown. And that was indeed the case. So thank goodness it was an easy fix and big props to JR at JR Boatsworks who took all the time we needed over the phone on a Saturday night to get us sorted out. There's a guy who gets it, so we put his contact info in this video's description in case you're ever in need of excellent service in the Hudson Valley or Western Long Island Sound. Thanks again, Junior. Now, back to our regularly scheduled captain's briefing. Doesn't look like there's any wind or current, so my plan, and, and Admiral, when you go outside, the lines all look slack. I think we're going to have to back and spin. A um, little, little tight to pirouette in here, so you concur, Captain? Right. Captain slash bosun. Captain slash bosun? Yeah. That's like sounds like a, a cool name. Yeah. Honorary, honorary bosuns, because the real the real bosun isn't here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. All right then. All right. Uh, actually, may as well. Here we go. Light him up. Here comes Mr. Starbird. We don't have fancy names like some boomer shines for our engines. <laughs> sure we do. Good pressure, good fuel flow, and the engine temperature is good because we had our block heaters on. All right. Port side, online, pressure and fuel flow, all looking good. I'll go through my process and you'll go through yours. And all right. Bye bye. Sip of coffee first. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, lucky. Uh, the docks are icy, by the way. Right bye bye. So the idea is we're going to back into that fairway there. We'll have plenty of room. It's almost like a little turning basin. Yeah, fenders in line stay ready. 
so we're out of phase. Okay, coming off the dock. Love that sound. coming up here. We are disturbing some soil. Am I clear of that express cruiser? Yeah, you're fine. You are well clear of... Oh, yeah. Got about probably 10 feet. depth like? I didn't wear my little uh, eyepieces that would have shown what our depth is in my glasses, my little heads three up display. Feet. How many? Still three. three. Okay, wow. so we're good. We're in six feet of water, so it's a little shallow here. This is, are we still stirring stuff up? Yeah, we'll pick it up. Mark. This is what it feels like. When, we're used to being down south by now in the <laughs> Carolinas and it's this cold. And it's just, you know, we've also traveled on around this time up in the northeast and had it be in the 40s and 50s. All right, so I'm gonna go into the pilot house now and grab those controls. So we're coming out of Blind Fairway. It is early in the morning. It looks like there's no traffic, but it's still a good practice, even though <laughs> I'll probably be waking people Wait. up. Horn sounding. Blind uh, spot, and the little fishing boat was back there. We don't need him creeping up on us, but I think we're all good. Hopefully, nobody spilled their coffee. And we are clear. Goodbye, Cormorans of Croton. Thirty in the morning, departure at 0800 as sort of semi-planned. We were kind of loose about it this morning. We knew it was roughly around when we wanted to go, just to make the currents and you know, hopefully have a more of a full afternoon. So the plan today, we're south on the Hudson, as I mentioned. Uh, we're coming up on Nyack shortly. Beautiful cliffs along the way, and then we'll get to the Palisades, which is one of the really beautiful parts of this trip. But anyway, our departure went well. Um, we had this bow thruster issue but we did get it resolved and the bow thruster is working better than ever now. So that's always a good thing. We were too busy in the equipment room to come out and film. Um, 
But we're running to Port Washington. It's a, another interesting stop for us and a revisiting of a, an old home, and we'll talk more about that later. It's about a 30 nautical mile run from where we left in Croton on Hudson down to the Battery, which is the southern tip of Manhattan. We'll swing around that, go up the East River and through Hellgate, and right now we have the current pretty much with us all the way down, and that's another 20 miles out to Port Washington going up the East River. We're going to be on the flood current as well. There's no wind today, so hopefully Hellgate will not be hell. It's time for more coffee and to enjoy the ride. The next major Hudson River landmark as you head south is the three mile long Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge, which connects Westchester and Rockland counties. It is the longest bridge in all of New York state, and it really is an architectural marvel that we love getting to see up close. South of the bridge along the river's west side are the Palisades, which as you can see are stunning cliffs. They rise as high as 540 feet and were formed about 200 million years ago. You have a 48 meter passenger ship coming at you at 34 knots on the same route line. You got out of its way. Thank you for taking a watch, Pam and Russ. What were you just doing while we were underway? Oh, I had a lovely shower. Isn't that the best? Had, oh, taking a shower was, while underway. We appreciate so that also. Yeah, oh yeah, nice hot water. All right, I'm going to have uh, breakfast. And look at this spread, bagel brunch on a Sunday with some smoked salmon, fresh tomatoes, got the capers, the cream cheese, oh, even some fruit. Very nice. This is the way to travel. Coming right up, we round Lower Manhattan and hit the East River with massive current. And then, will the often daunting Hellgate really be hell on such a calm day? We'll be right back. If you'd like more real-time updates on our adventures, well, you'll find us on Instagram and also on Facebook. There's also lots more on our website, and if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them here in the comments section or reach out on one of our other platforms. We'd love to hear from you. Around 10 miles north of the southern tip of Manhattan, we head under the famed George Washington Bridge, and that is where I get to see a little piece of my childhood as we pass the Little Red Lighthouse, which was the star of this book that I just loved as a kid. This is what a good crew member does right here. Got a good ship shape for New York City. Well, the trip's been going great. Really easy run down the Hudson River. We've been gliding past Manhattan. It is a Sunday, so there's very little boat traffic. There are some sightseeing tours out, being the end of October, which has been fine, seeing these Circle Line boats going around. A couple of nice yachts. And uh, we are now getting to Lower Manhattan. Going to take you out onto the foredeck, where Captain Russell has been swabbing and keeping things dry. Thanks for taking over right now, Captain Russ. But you can't ask for a better day of cruising than a day like today. Freedom Tower, of course. Lower Manhattan in our sights. Chelsea and Chelsea Piers off to our port side. And we're going to round the tip of Manhattan, grab the current going up the East River, and head on through Hellgate out to the Long Island Sound and Port Washington. So fortunately, the forecast has been exactly as predicted. And we'll press on, and maybe I'll continue to take a break because I have such a qualified captain at the helm. I mean that in the best sense of the term. Tip of Manhattan. Lady Liberty is around a mile and a half from this spot, but we can never forego taking at least a few pictures and waving as we go by. That would just be rude. 
As you pass the ferry terminal and round Manhattan's southern tip, you are officially in the East River. Did you know that the East River is not technically a river, but a tidal estuary? Anyway, you now find yourself heading for the Brooklyn Bridge, one of the city's most majestic, in our opinion, and it's the first of seven bridges you'll go under as you head this way out to the Long Island Sound. Always worth pointing out, when you pick up the current on the East River, what you're doing, and we're doing just about 12 knots, with almost three knots of current. All right, so this is when you're really paying close attention to everything, because even though it's a Sunday, you got boats coming at you, ferries, pleasure boats from every which way, fast-moving water taxis coming out of their terminals, usually making security calls, not always. And we're just uh, actually coming up on the Brooklyn Bridge here, and we are about two and a half to three knots of current behind us. We're doing almost 13 knots at our regular engine speed. East River is always exciting. Next up is the Manhattan Bridge. And if you have to travel by car, that'll get you from Canal Street in Manhattan to downtown Brooklyn. The Williamsburg Bridge is next, another classic suspension bridge. This one completed in 1903, connecting Manhattan's Lower East Side with the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. Again, much better to see by boat than by car. Just after you pass the United Nations headquarters, the East River is split by Roosevelt Island, which you can pass on either side. Of course, the better view of the city is to the west of the island, which is considered the main channel, and it's where most of the traffic goes. In either case, you'll be passing under the Queensboro Bridge, which connects Manhattan and Queens. I've pulled the engines back to 1120 RPMs, not really a speed we ever run them at. And we were just doing 14 knots, now doing 13.8. We're about to go in a hell gate. And it will be interesting, we've never gone through with the flood tide, but the current runs straight through hell gate and out into Long Island Sound basically. And since there is no wind or opposing forces, I'm expecting it to be a smooth ride, but I'm gonna be here concentrating. Admiral, you'll manage everything else. I think it's going to be fine. It's just, you know, it's one of those things that it doesn't have to be intimidating, but you always want to be on your toes. And as I, I will remind people, by the way, as I said to Captain Russell, I always preach it, so I try to do it. Your head on a swivel. Whenever you're in and around these waters in particular, um, always keep looking in every direction because stuff happens very fast out here. All right, I'm getting back to you. This little island here called Mill Rock. I always think of it as the gateway to the East River or the Harlem River, depending on which direction you're going and where you're coming from. Interesting thing to note is that Olo has actually not been on the East River since our delivery trip after purchasing her in Connecticut in 2017. And going through Hellgate at that time was not a great experience. It was a little tumultuous. This is a far different experience because we have the current to our back and no wind. And no traffic, no barges making security calls coming around this bend when you have to give them as wide a berth as possible. So I would say, all in all, this is an excellent, so far, and I want to get through it fully, but this is an excellent Hellgate experience. And there is something about going through Hellgate on the evening of Halloween. <laughs> and then we come up on the Triborough Bridge, which has a different name now. This is the bridge on which you can get to Manhattan from Queens or the Bronx or to Queens or the Bronx from Manhattan. Isn't it unbelievable how calm it is? That boat's name is V, as we approach the Hellgate Bridge, which is a train bridge. Beautiful Fleming. Yeah, these are the currents of Hellgate right here.
going to say, you know, calm as it is, the currents are still wicked in here. It really is amazing how quickly they can grab you. And when you have such a push from the current, it is not as easy to maintain control as you might think it is or would hope it would be. But all going well. Again, look at our speed. Yeah. Wouldn't want to be fighting this. Behold the island where Typhoid Mary was housed so that she wouldn't infect New York City with typhoid. There was a hospital on this island. And that's where I believe she lived and died. About to head under the Throgs Neck Bridge with its vertical clearance of 138 feet, so I don't think it will be a problem as we motor out to the Long Island Sound. I think we say this every single time we go under this bridge, having traveled on the bridge, who knows, hundreds and hundreds of times in our life, that every time we go over the bridge or are sitting in traffic on the bridge looking down at the pleasure boats, we wish we were down there. So now that we're down here, we say hello to all of you people up there on that bridge. Hope you're having a nice drive. So we've continued to make excellent time. We just passed the Stepping Stones Lighthouse, which is kind of like the gateway to the Long Island Sound, we always say. It is beautiful out here. It is calm. There's virtually no wind. And we're now about 2.6 miles away from what is now called Safe Harbor Capri Marina in Port Washington. It's in uh, Manhasset Bay. And for three years, uh, when it was known as Brewer Capri, Brewer Capri West, that was our home port on our last boat. So this is a homecoming of sorts. We've never been back with Olo. In fact, this is our first time back to the Long Island Sound with Olo since we bought her. So it's kind of cool that we're going back there. We're looking forward to seeing what the place is like. It was always a, a very nice marina. And worthy of note, Rob, who we became friends with during our time there, he was a dock hand at the time, an excellent dock hand. He is now the dock master. He was just on vacation, so we're not sure he'll be there to greet us, but it will be a, a nice homecoming of sorts pulling into Capri. So we're gonna get ready to do that and should be alongside shortly. All right, we're in Manhasset Bay for the first time Gosh, when were we last here? I guess it was 2014, maybe, when we took our boat out of here for the last time, our last boat. Anyway, let's hail uh, Capri, see if we can get them. Safe Harbor Capri, Safe Harbor Capri, motor vessel Olo. This is Safe Harbor Capri, go ahead. Good afternoon, 60 foot motor vessel. We are coming in with a reservation, uh, no fuel needed. We're about 10 minutes out looking for a slip assignment, please. Roger that. Switch switching channel 71 for me, please. Channel 71. Olo switching 71. Safe Harbor Capri. Olo on 71. The slip number is Bimini South 31. So Bimini South 31, will it work for us to bow in for a starboard tie in that slip? Yeah, you can go bow and starboard tie tie. Uh, your power just will be off your starboard bow, so you probably need a long cord if your power is off the turn. That will actually work perfectly for us, and if I recall correctly, that is a very long finger slip, isn't it? Yep, correct. Yes, yeah, so you can go bow and starboard tie tie, and uh, I'll help you tie up there in a couple minutes. Okay, so we're going to come in here next to the fuel dock, and we're going to go in slip 31. Perfect. Right there. Good. I got somebody who will be on the stern, so he'll get that line. I'll take the first. I'm sorry? I'll take the string first. Sure. <laughs> hey, buddy. You gotta go. We'll take her up. Our power comes right up here, so we're not. Okay, perfect. You still have plenty of room on that bath. How's it going to be getting up today? Just let me know when you want to tie the spring. Yep. Yep. We'll lock it off there. Lock it off? Please. Come in, Capri. This is my day dream. Nice to 
What's your name? Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Jasper, see? There you go. I am rolling, rolling. I'm rolling. That was a good day. Oh, you're going to get right to it. No, that's fine. Is there, if there are no rules. There's no rules. <laughs> you know, I usually I go <laughs> over the stats of the day, but okay, I see that. Okay, go over the stats. All right, let's drink first. Let's try, you know, I don't, I'm a control freak if you haven't noticed. I'm, I like things a certain way. I have no problem. I'm, trying, I'm working on it. Way. I have no Please. problem with that. I pay for it. What do you have to say? I just want to say happy free birthday. All right. Thanks Where's for that? bringing us back to this lovely harbor. It's absolutely fabulous, and we couldn't have done it on a more blessed day. So yes. here's to you guys. Cheers. To yes. the handmaids. Blessed this, day. <laughs> under his eye. Stir and thruster that works. Yes. So you have to, take, you have to take a sip. Thou thruster that works. Bring. Bring. Again. Oh. Again. Oh, a painkiller. Painkiller. Oh, my. Oh, they passes rum. Uh, so now, okay. first of all, it's Admiral. Would you agree? It's it's kind of cool being back here. It's really cool. Boat, yeah. Uh, we haven't been here as we mentioned earlier in a long time, and we we got an awesome slip. I mean, the place is pretty empty, but this is a great slip that we used to sit and watch people pull into when we kept our boat here. So great being back at Safe Harbor Capri. Um, stats. So we traveled. 52.8 nautical miles today in exactly five hours three minutes uh i think now navionics blipped out on me it, you know sometimes it for whatever reason it quit in the middle of our day so i don't have our max speed according to navionics i'm going to say it was like 14 and a half knots at one point yeah. holy mackerel anybody want to guess for our 52 nautical miles what our fuel burn how many gallons we burned today how many gallons of fuel so you said five hours five, five hours, hours. Yep, 52 40, miles. 45. Well, that would have been nice. No, we burned, <laughs> but we burned exactly 52 gallons of, of fuel. Wow, that's you great. Ask, you really yeah. can't that's ask for better than that in a 60 foot yeah, boat. Yeah. So, anyway, cheers, cheers, Admiral. Hey, and I have, cheers, cheers everyone. I have a yeah. question. Yes. Um, Is all Hallowed, Hallow's Eve the Eve before it Halloween? Is not. So as, then what is the as Eve? As someone who has the birthday <laughs> on Halloween, all Hallow's Eve, I know that the evening before that is All How All Hallows Eve Eve. You see. Ah. <laughs> Got it. Got it. All right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Everyone. Cheers. Thanks for coming along, as always. <laughs> oh, I'll see you next year. Right. <laughs> Kidding. We mentioned earlier, Rob. So Rob, you were, but you were docking. Yeah, I was here. here, and that was um, 2012. Was when I think the first year we were here, 11 or 12. We've just been sitting around catching up and, and reminiscing about people and, and this marina. And he always took great care of us, and now he runs the show here. So yeah. Anyway, it's great seeing you. Seeing and thank you, you for joining us on our little uh, oh, thing that we do. Here. Yeah, exactly. Great. All right, man. Truly great to reconnect with Rob and to once again be tucked away in a terrific slip at an excellent marina. We are already looking forward to our return to Safe Harbor Capri, and we look forward to you joining us on our next adventure. If you enjoyed this one, it's always appreciated when you hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you, and if you'll whack that notification bell, you'll always know when it's time for more Adventures of Olo.